All right, guys, we're checking out Tyrael today because he was a hero that was tweaked in the patch that came out on the 12th. So the level one talent that was tweaked was Ardent Restoration. The stacks or the amount you get healed was increased by three from 3.5 to 4 per stack. So dealing damage to hero heroes heals Tyrael for 21 health over 5 seconds, dealing damage. Resets the timer and the heal amount stacks up for 10 seconds. Uh, who do we actually have on our team? We have Alarak, Tyrael, Lieutenant Morales, Deathwing, and Asmodan versus Medivh, Nazebo, Karazim, Varian, and Kira. Alright, it's been a while. I feel like every video I'm like, yeah, it's been a long time since I played this hero. It just seems like they changed all the heroes I don't play as them. Alright. Okay, I gotta remember that we can't actually shield Deathwing. So our W is a shield. When we activate it, we shield Tyrael for a certain amount of damage. And then our allies get 40% of that if they're in range. So they get shielded for 40% of the damage that it can absorb. Where did Varian just go? He was over here. Ooh, they're hiding in the bushes. Hmm. Our Q is called Eldruin's Might. We throw out Eldruin. It's a sword. And you can reactivate it to teleport Tyrael to it. What it does is it does damage and I believe it slows. And if you reactivate it and someone's around you, the slow is reapplied. Why am I focusing Varian? That is not gonna go well. <laughs> Medivh and Varian. Oh my gosh, you know how much protected that's gonna be, you know, my favorite, um, what's it called? Favorite alt to go for on Ontario is Judgment. Uh, but like, Sink might be better here. If I say that, but you know, it's likely that I'm still gonna go Judgment because it's so much fun. But, but maybe not, maybe not. Okay, our E is called Smite. You put it down, it does damage. If your allies run over it, I believe they get a uh, movement speed increase of 25 for two seconds. And then Tyrael's trait is another thing that got buffed. Yeah. So whenever he dies, he becomes invulnerable, and then he blows up and does damage. Now, for every hero you hit with that ability, it'll reduce the death timer by 10% or something? I forget which one of these I usually go for. Great armor. Cool. Yes. They seem to have a lot of traits that reduce death timers and everything like that, like Murky and Diablo when he has souls and Leoric. And now Tyrael has a way to reduce his death timer too, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, uh oh. Run, Asmodan, run! Here's some movement speed. It'd help if I actually put it on the ground faster than that. <laughs> Eldrin Smite. Oh, of course he has his bubble. Or his shield, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we got two warheads top lane. One middle, one bottom. I gotta try to keep these guys off of Asmodan, which is gonna be absolutely ridiculously hard. Because there's three people here, and uh, this isn't good. So whenever we teleport to our Eldruin, we get 25 armor. That will help a little bit. Especially if you're using it- well, if you're running away, that armor's gonna help you not die. But if you're using it to engage, you can jump in and take a little bit more damage than you would have been able to without it. I don't know why I'm hitting minions when there's still a warhead on the map, so let's head that way instead. Hmm. I don't know if he wants to chase. Give him some speed. Can we like jump in front of her? Never mind, that's a stupid thing to do. Anyway, there's our Eldruin. Uh, it's actually really good that our teammates are nuking the top lane because the boss is up here. Here's a here's a bubble. We are gonna go for what is this? Shield explodes, increase basic attack damage. Hmm, I, I guess we'll go for Purge Evil? I don't know if that was the best decision, but I'm assuming I'm going to be standing in fights since I'm... Is Terry a tank or a bruiser? Like, 
I, I know he used to be categorized as a tank. I don't know if they changed that, though. I wonder if Asmodan's going for the All Shall Burn build because that was actually buffed in the patch that came out on the 12th. I was actually assuming they were gonna put another one out today, but I didn't see one when I logged in, so I guess not. What's going on back here? Who's here? I don't see anybody. Um, maybe we should let this wave push forward a little bit so that if we have to back up, we are closer to our turrets and all of that. Uh, we're having an experience a little bit. I'm doing next to no damage, which isn't that surprising. That's a Master Medivh. Maybe I should have stayed top. Asmodan's getting a camp. I really don't want her to push our fort with that camp there. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna try to annoy her. I can't kill Akira, I don't think. I don't think I do enough damage. What does this do? Enemy heroes hit by smite increased heroes basic attack damage by 55% for 4 seconds. I think I usually go for the exploding shield. We can try this out though, no problem. Looks like we have some issues going on in the bottom lane. Oh man. What do I do here, guys? I feel like sanctification is the right move because I can drop it around the warheads. Now, one problem I have with sanctification is I always like activate it, but it's around Tyrael. So if you activate it, oh man, yeah, I meant to do that. If you activate it and you think it's gonna go where your cursor is, it won't. It's an AoE around him. And it's not very big. Alright, I need to go bottom lane, I think. Actually, Medivh is here. Oh, he pollied me! And I'm spreading it to my team members! No! Oh, man. I, I can't move around as we stand. I keep forgetting that Medivh can actually pick up region gloves when he's in his raven form because I went in for that and it was gone. Alright. Ah, uh, okay. I, there's a channel time on that. Good to know. Good to know. Oh no, no. Get away from my healer! Okay, she turned around. Uh, I was expecting her to run towards the fountain there, and I was gonna try to block for her, but she came back. Um, what had happened was... I can't collect this until we, like, get them to, like, go away. Uh-oh. Retreat! Retreat! I can't block! I can't block! We need to kill Karazine, though. If we try to kill Kira, she... Oh, wait, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. We're gonna annoy these guys. I'm not hitting anybody. Did I get any cooldown reduction there on my trait? Ugh. So the problem is, they have Medivh, he has protected. They have Varian, he has protected. They have Karazim, he's a healer. So I'm like, trying to figure out who to focus. Obviously, Medivh or Karazim. Kira can heal herself. Nazebo gets more health if he's building for that. I think he gets that anyways, but he gets more if he starts building more for his trade. Hmm. I could have engaged there better. Let's just put it that way. I don't feel like I got any cooldown on that. Maybe I didn't actually hit somebody. I thought maybe I, I did. Alright. They have two nukes. I'm... Actually, Nazebo's down here. I was gonna say, I'm sure they're not down here, though, right? Because they could sneak to the other lanes and then drop them up there. Uh... Sanctification is like such a small area. Shield! Oh man. 
Uh, we can give ourselves movement speed, and we could probably take, we'll take holy ground. So what that does is when you throw out your Q, and then you teleport to it, it actually creates an AoE around it that enemies cannot pass through for three seconds. Uh, there's camp coming. I'm gonna stay down here. It's actually only one guy. Let me make sure I'm understanding this. Oh, we have to hit e oh, we have to hit heroes with the smite in order for it to actually boost our basic attack damage. Hey, Medivh, go away! I'm giving him free stacks on his uh, quest. He pollied me. That's a long cooldown for one person. Oh, that was Alaric. I'm like, oh no, here they come. Oh. Wow, it's like... I want to kill her because she has the nuke. Give us movement speed. Uh, now they have... They have all the things. Ooh, he hit him with the silence. Nice job. Where'd he go? Oh. That's one we got him! He followed me again. I wonder what the cooldown is on that. I feel like he just used that. Uh, we have one nuke. Who has it? Lieutenant Morales. She's about to take tower shots. Never mind. She's not actually in range. All right, should we rotate or should we stay down here? Uh, I feel like maybe I should rotate because it looks like Deathwing's having a really hard time up there. We might not be able to give him any movement speed and we might not be able to shield him, but we can, you know, do some damage. I wonder if Asmodan interrupted that. Oh, he did. We'll put our holy ground there so they can't do that. I feel like I made the wrong decision here though, and I don't know what to take, although I'm dying. I do have our sanctification. I don't really want to waste it though. Uh, basic attack, reduce Eldruin, and Might's cooldown. Oh, I walk back in. Here, we'll blow up, right? Try landing your skill shots Come here. Within bushes. You know what would have been cool in addition to them reducing the cooldown of your death timers if they would have gave them a little bit of movement speed. I should have just backed up there. It doesn't actually say how fast he moves though. I know there's a level 20 a talent that they just changed this one. They did something to this and I can't remember what. We can just read it though. It'll give us armor. I feel like I should take that because I'm just dying. We're on our way. I mean the team is doing really good considering the team we're up against. It's 8 to 9. Give her a shield. Who only cares Eames dead, so where did they go? I feel like they wouldn't be up here bossing. They could be bottom lane though. I have no idea where they went. That's a twin blade though. I feel like he could get a boss. I mean, I know he can actually, but he's in the bottom lane. Okay, I thought maybe he was trying to sneak one. Off. Oh, he doesn't get it though, does he? Nope. I just wasted that. But I forgot that <laughs> Deathwing doesn't actually get those.
That's a long cooldown to be wasting it. Looks like Morales still has the nuke. But we can't pushing our bottom lane. I just wanna watch the world burn. We are, I was about to say, we are ahead in experience, but we're not. They just caught up. <laughs> Nazebo's in the top lane. I don't know where the rest of the enemy team went. It looks like Medivh's up there as well. Okay, they're all there. They just got that Ruzer camp. Uh, we could defend. I was gonna say we could try to sneak that, but we're not all here, so probably not a great idea. I don't want to walk through the vision because they'll obviously see us if we do that. Oh no, Asmodan. There's some movement speed. Nope, didn't work. I feel like Holy Ground isn't as effective since they have a Medivh- Why am I chasing a Varian? Since they have a Medivh who can just kind of like portal. Huh. Nice job! Alright, let's pick this up. Wow, there's a lot of them on the map. It looks like Morales went down there to the middle lane. Um, I'm, I don't agree with nuking middle. I, I don't. But that's okay. If we want to take down middle, let's do that. Give me some movement speed since I just got shot by the fort, and that's a slow. Huh. Uh oh. No! Oh no! She missed her grappling hook. I'm not gonna chase her though. Walking in a straight line behind Akira isn't a good idea. Because most of her abilities are straight line skill shot type things. We are gonna go for. This is the new one, so I guess we'll go for that. Defense of the Angels. Each time material damages an enemy hero with basic attack or basic ability increases the duration of the armor by 0.5 seconds to give us 50 armor when we activate it. I feel like we shouldn't be here though. Here's some movement speed. Uh, maybe, maybe I should just engage here. I feel like we shouldn't be, but if we're going to, then we might as well, right? And I'm polyed again. Karazim is actually pushing our keep down. I didn't think their healer would be the one pushing with the boss, but I was wrong. I still feel like I would have gotten more value out of judgment just because... I think judgment's easier to use. You just click somebody and then you fly in and stun them. Is upon us. It's easier to use well, I should say. I mean, Sanct isn't hard to use. You just push a button and it like, drops it directly under your feet. But if you do it at the wrong time, as you've seen, you get no value out of it. They're not at this boss, are they? They were. Oh, Morales. Burn, baby, burn. Are we about to push the core right now? I wish we had that bottom boss. Oh, I thought that was me who was gonna get stuck in that zombie wall. Nice. Oh well, I was trying to jump behind her there, but I miscalculated. Uh oh. 
We used it properly, guys! I did it! I did it! <laughs> I didn't use that level 20 at all. Let's pop that now. We got 50 armor! GG! Nice job, team. I don't have chat on. Alarak! Okay, we'll vote for him. We got team damage soaked. Nice. Alright, so, anyway, that's what they changed on Tyrion. I didn't really- I don't think I was, like, I don't know, using the level 1 talent properly. I know it was a passive, but I- not really sure what the stacking was, but it was changed. So you get more healing. The level 20, I don't know if that was changed or if it was added in, but that gives you 50 armor, and then when you basic attack or use basic abilities, it reduces the cooldown by 0.5 seconds. And the other change was if you actually are able to explode when you die with his trait, it lowers the cooldown by 10% based on how many heroes you hit. So I feel like that's a good change, but I don't think I got any value out of that because he's still really slow. So it's hard to catch people when they're running away, which if you see Tyrio in that form, you're going to be running away. Uh, let's look at the stats real quick. I mean, I only died twice. I didn't do much damage. That's okay. Anyway, here's the stats. Here's the talents. I, I don't know if I would recommend this build. This was the new one. And then this one, dealing hero, dealing damage to a hero heals Tyrio for 20 health over 5 seconds. Dealing damage resets the timer, and the heal st amount stacks up to 10 times. Okay, well that, that was changed. This was in the patch notes for some reason. I don't know if it was changed or added. Anyway guys, how do you build Tyrio? I mean, do you like Judgment over Sanctification? Because I love playing with Judgment. I think it is so much fun. I mean, I know it's a lot like Hunt, but it's still so much fun. But as always, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!